channel. Uh oh, who is Batman? Who is it? Did I just give away my identity? Crap! It's me. Yes, Miss Pajamas, aka PJ. I'm here again, and guess what? I haven't done this since January, which was my first monthly favorite, and I'm totally lag, so I am doing in favorite today. First of all, I want to apologize for not looking my part today. I just came back from work and it's freaking freezing outside. Therefore, I have my favorite beanie, which is actually one of the favorites in this video. This will probably be just like since I missed out for so long since January, I'm just going to shove all these bits and pieces in, which has been my favorite. Um, there's a lot of new things in here that I currently really really start loving um, so a lot of these are recently like during the past two months or so um, I'm just gonna pick anything randomly starting off with nail polish yeah uh, first and last polish has been my favorite actually since January I actually picked this up the first time the start of this year and it's almost half empty and that's why I actually got a new bottle. That's how much I love it. I think that China Glaze, under your first, you know, using as a bottom layer and the top layer is really, really good. It actually makes my nail polish stay on. I've mentioned in my other video that I used to work in retail. And you know how retailers always use their fingers to open up packages and boxes and la 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 your nails just look crap and disgusting and manly so when i actually put this under it and on top of it as a top coat this actually made my nail polish last so much longer and that's why i actually purchased another one of these i love it so much the next thing that i got is from sachet beat i've heard this i've heard this raving all over youtube it's actually a there's like a few different ones that you can choose but I got the dry fast top coat and I put this on top of my nail polish first I put this as the base layer then I put my nail polish color and then I put this at the top and literally seriously um, I had this nail polish on one of the, my favorite China glaze nail polishes on and it stayed on for like a week and the thing is I had to take it off because I needed to change a different color for this for my birthday but if I didn't take that off it would have lasted all like throughout even more than five days and I hardly had any chipping it's amazing and what I love as well you can put this to seal your rings inside your ring so you um, don't get that greenish kind of film um, and also your earrings if you're allergic to earrings as um, fake jewelry like me my favorite nail polish <laughs> actually this is like my favorite winter nail polish is the concrete catwalk so that's in china glaze this is like a grayish color and it's been my favorite color and this is the one that lasted on me for over like five days i love it as for makeup this is my first i was in priceline i think it was two months ago or a month ago and I decided to pick up an eyeshadow because it really reminded me of Max. Um, hey, what is this? Illusionary Burning Ambition. That's what it's called in the the mineralized eyeshadow, which looks like this. This is um, not the favorite that I'm actually going to talk to you about, but it's the models prefer. It pretty much reminds me of the MAC version and this is like so much cheaper than oh crap <laughs> this and if you can see okay this is the eyeshadow duo and it's mineral as well and it's bronze it's in the bronze belt and I love it I love this for every day if I don't know what to wear I use these two colors so it's like a bronze and a brown color inside as well and if you look closely these products are basically almost the same they're both mineral uh, mineral um, and I know that in the um, models prefer colors they actually have this color as well in what Mac has so these two now uh, this has been a really fa a favorite of mine which I love to just put all over my lid and it's nice and smooth very very nice and smooth 
that is why it's one of my faves next thing i got from beauty joint a lot of these things i actually got from beauty joint but this is my first wet and wild eyeshadow palette i got this in vanity i actually can find what these are called they're actually in the front i didn't know what colors they were called but it's in the front it says there vanity and I love all of the colors in here it's a neutral color it's like this is what I wear every day and this color here is basically what I wear on my crease and to blend a lot of my eyeshadows with and this pale color here is just a really nice all over lid and brow bone color and I just really love this palette it's very very inexpensive very very creamy it feels so creamy and they have so much pigmentation going on in them um it's just too bad that i don't actually see them selling here in sydney australia which really sucks oh by the way yes at this moment that i'm speaking right now michelle fan is actually here in sydney australia i didn't get to see her because i finished work late and she's she's all the way in the city so i didn't get to see her but I'll probably just, you know, at least I get to see her on YouTube. <laughs> okay, my next favorite um is oh my gosh, I'm I can't believe this. This is okay. This looks really plain in the package, but look at this concealer. This concealer um palette is so amazing. It has so many different colors on it and they really really blend well i love blending in concealers to kind of just play around and see what i can make and with this palette i can make the exact same skin color as my skin and i have a lot of acne scars um which i really desperately need i'm wanting to get rid of and hide so this is what i use usually when i go out i feel like this is very very high coverage and i love it so much i actually got this from ebay i think it was 7.99 and then two dollars shipping or around ten dollars the whole thing and i i needed to get it as well and it was like it's an australian um shop on, on the ebay store so I really 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 love this palette it's the concealer palette and I'll probably link you the link if I can find it but this stuff is so amazing um, it doesn't I don't know what brand it is it's just some no brand but it it reminds me of the um, concealer palette that I got from IMAX two years ago pretty much exactly the same but it has more um, different colors I had the the six big bigger concealer palettes before but it melted in my freaking car when I went on holidays it just melted and then like I was just like nah I don't want to use it anymore but this thing is a freaking beast I love it as for eyeliners guys I've been using this really chatty eyeliner for the last few the start of the year um only the eyeliner um for my waterline and I decided to finally get a new one and um, I really really love the infallible L'Oreal line a lot of their things actually really last quite long so I decided to get the eyeliner and I am in love with this this does not smudge and it's so black and it glides on so smoothly I lost the lid to it as you can see but um, this is crazy black and it's just really really smooth as you can see I just drew this curly line it's so smooth in texture and it really does not smudge at all like well if you use it for like obviously maybe over eight hours it does a little bit of smudging but it does not smudge and make you look like a panda which I love this thing is amazing and I actually got this at um, my favorite discounted beauty shop here in Sydney it's um, called Cosmo Cosmetics I I know you probably heard me rave about this so many times but yeah it was actually six dollars or seven dollars something like that so much cheaper than Priceline I guess um, the next eyeliner that I am in love with it's weird because I've been used to this eyeliner and it's like it's from LA girl which I've been using for ages and I didn't think I'll ever use anything else but I got this um, Napoleon gel liner 
in China. It's called China Doll Eyeliner and it's in this little tub here. And this thing is so amazing. And I got it for, for a gift for my birthday from Elaine. Thanks, bun. <laughs> Thanks, Chip. And um, she gave this to me for my birthday. And as soon as I tried this, this glides on my lids so smoothly. It doesn't smudge at all. And I love using this every day or when I go out it just doesn't smudge and it's it's really really reliable and I really really love it and it's from Napoleon I'm not too sure how much it is guys but I'm, I'm obsessed with it and my friend just came back from the US and then she had a stopover to Korea thank uh, this is Karai Karami I'm shouting out to a lot of my friends because this a lot of my favorites are actually like birthday gifts that I got and this is a Korean product I'm not sure it's, oh Etude House oh I've actually heard this brand before from the Philippines or something but this is the Jewel Change Eyeliner and look look at this tip it is it's like a pen art line eyeliner and it's so thin you can really draw the thinnest lines on top of your eyelashes and just make it look so natural this is amazing and this does not come off at all I love it thank you Karami my next favorite okay if you're a fan of um, you know contact circle lenses um, and you tend to and you're a person that gets red eyes easily dry eyes and or you're hardly ever sleeping and you look like a zombie all the time these are freaking amazeballs seriously as much as they sting which i thought this was really really bad for your eyes because these Thing like hell it makes you cry a bit so I recommend that you don't put this on after you put you know your makeup on because you're just gonna damp you ruin your makeup but this from getting re having red eyes makes your eyeballs clear and white and bright and awake this is so amazing it's sea drops it's like you're dropping eye ice icicles in your eyes it's like a cooling sensation but it's also kind of like a burning kind of feeling if you like that feeling this is for you if you're really really sensitive and you you're scared of like that kind of feeling probably don't try this i think there's an actual um softer gentler version of this but this is what i have and this is so amazing especially at night time if you're feeling dehydrated because i'm always up all night but um this is what i love um it's called the z with the exclamation mark it's a korean one i actually got this on ebay as well i think for ten dollars it's, it's a bit pricey but it's really worth it i've had this since the start of this year or something like that but it's been really really great um if you're wearing contacts um, um, already and you put it in your eye it doesn't sting that much but it still works and I love this next is a makeup brush that is one of my favorites this is actually the Sigma precision precision I can never say this precision flat p80 so it's the small version of the um, flat kabuki brush which I love I have a lot of freaking acne scars if i remove this side of my makeup you will see a lot of dots i've grew i've grown up with you know acne prone skin i hate it it's so annoying i still haven't found like the right kind of i don't know solution to fix it i'm trying to eat healthy right now because i eat like junk and i know that's you know get like ruining my liver um and um i've tried reaccutane twice and after being offered it just comes back and i'm never trying it again because it just damaged my bones but um this baby here i use this to blend and use and spot treat my acne scars and conceal it all up and this blends really well especially with my concealer my heavy duty concealer this really blends so well and it's really really tiny and it gets into the little spaces like your nose cracks your eyes and I get a lot of pim pimples here you can see these freaking volcanoes oh, so annoying seriously that's why I've been loving green tea so this is also another favorite green tea which I've been loving has a lot of antioxidants or um I don't know 
am I just making that up but I know green tea is really good for you also your skin and I've been loving that for winter it's winter here in Australia at the moment and what I drink is the Kirkland green tea this is from Costco and I think this green tea tastes amazing it's really really nice we get the big boxed one so we have a lot but I think this is the last packet I've used it all up damn what do I drink now oh my next beauty product that I love is the NYX soft matte lip cream baby these things are to die for like this is so creamy but it turns out matte but it doesn't dry your lips out um it's really really something like even it says it's like nothing you've experienced before seriously it's really really good it's inexpensive i get this on beauty joint for three nine four ninety nine or four or five dollars it's really really inexpensive and seriously i wish they could purchase this here i don't know where i can i've never seen this anywhere in sydney have you guys does anyone know if they sell NYX in Sydney? Let me know. Anyway, um, it's a soft matte and this colour is in Antwerp. I love this colour. It's a kind of um, pinky coral corally colour. I don't have it on my lips right now but it's really really beautiful for my skin tone and I am in love with that. My next thing is this L'Oreal. Oh, whatever. What else is there? <gasps> okay, uh, I always talk about how ugly and straw-like my hair is. Look at this. My hair is freaking like straw. Look guys, I'll show you when I brush it. It just, like, it's so hard to brush. It's so ridiculous. I hate it. It's be all because of Roaccutane. I blame Roaccutane for my, my brittle bones and my freaking dried out hair. Um... So that's why I've turned to this. This is the Argonology Moroccan Super Reconstructive System. I got this on Brands Exclusive. They were having a sale, free shipping, and it was, I think, $15. And this is in the 125 mils. I think this makes my hair so smooth after washing it out and then leaving leaving it out to naturally dry. I think it's amazing. It doesn't smell as good as the um, macadamia oil treatment, but this thing works as well um it has organic argan oil and macadamia nut oil so um definitely try this i really really love it i don't know i don't know if this smells right i can't smell it much anyway this is freaking amazing <gasps> okay <sighs> take a deep breath this is something i'm still amazed about like i can't believe this happened to me on my birthday a good friend of mine hi kimmy hi chung um they're really good friends of mine and i thought after my birthday celebration we were all done for my birthday and we'll shop we'll just walking around the shops and they just took me to freaking prada and i'm like what the hell are we doing here and then my girlfriend bought me this Prada wallet out of nowhere. And I was just like, wait, what? Is you serious? You're really gonna, you, you're seriously gonna buy this for me? Oh my gosh. Am I not the luckiest girl in the world? Um, a Prada wallet. Prada is one of, like, I have, the only Prada things that I have is two Prada sunglasses. Um, and I've been dying to get a Prada wallet, especially with the classic logo, the triangle logo, which I love. Um, this is what it looks like. Oh, that's all my cards. You can't see anything, but it's so slick. It's so, you know, it looks so classy and poshy. I love it. I love how it's black and gold. And um, I've been using, oh, where is it? I'll show you. My my wallet that I've been using before this wallet I've been in love with for so many years and it was it's so hard for me to kind of change wallets even if I also um, got a present like a few years ago I got a, um, a wallet from my boyfriend and it was hard for me to swap this wallet it's not really a wallet but look at this this has actually been my wallet for years like four years or something like that I got this for ten dollars it's an actual 
cigarette case. No, I don't smoke. I hate smoking. I hate the smell. I hate the smell when it gets in your hair. I hate the smell of the breath. No, I don't like smoking. All right, that's it. <laughs> hate smoking, but that's what it looks like. It has clips here. It clips all my cards and my cash. And what I loved about it, it has this nice kind of paisley pattern going on. It's really slick. It can, um, it clips in really well. And I don't actually, this wallet makes me not shove in so much crap that usual wallets do. Like, that's why I didn't want any other wallets because I know that I'll shove in so much crap. But this one always let me keep it to a minimum and just keep what I needed in this wallet. So... Um, I think I'll just probably use that wallet going out and whatever if I don't really want I obviously I don't want to damage this one, but this is my baby This is my baby right now. Oh my gosh. It's so gorgeous so My next favorite guys Okay, so my sister actually got an Xbox. Yes, I, I've owned a Super Nintendo and Atari I've owned a PS1 a PS2 um, and now my sister actually bought an Xbox 360 a few months ago and um, she was gone for for her Europe trip and I was bored because she wasn't here. So I decided to get the two games um, from a friend who gave me rate, mate, rate, mates rates and I got these two. It was in my previous haul but it's the LA Noir and Dead Island. I'm freaking obsessed with Dead Island and this is my favorite favorite game right now um actually these two i love them both equally um dead island zombie game you kill zombies you do all these kind of quests and i play this online with my friend so that what makes it fun and it's a bit scary because zombies like attack you like ah, ah, ah. like seriously they're like ah, they do that <laughs> um and it's crazy because I've played this for like four or five hours straight and I've also played LA Noir for five hours straight. This is an investigation game. You actually get to like drive around the whole of LA city and um, investigate and it's really amazing and realistic. Like you actually get to pick up someone's hand and like investigate and do like figure out all that kind of stuff and ask questions to like people and see if they're lying or not. and. I would definitely recommend these games. I know I'm probably late, but I still love them. Um, they're freaking fun. So fun. Hello. I love it. <sighs> what else do I have that's my favorite? I don't know. I hope that's not it. Really? I'm freaking boring. I feel like I'm freaking boring this um Okay, so that pretty much comes my con pops come out the pat. That pretty much concludes my video. I'm off to play LA Noir, baby. I'm gonna kill some criminals and shoot them and hunt them down and investigate fingerprints and you know, ask people questions and figure out who's lying or not. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do tonight. Peace out, see ya. Bye! Check out my eye, it's like squished. How awesome is this mask from Kmart? It was only like $12. Best $12 I've ever spent. Oh my 